video I like to talk about our angle and what exactly you need to know about our angle. There's this phrase, understand how the observer's meridian defines local sidereal time and an object's hour angle. So the observer's meridian, here's our little observer, and if our little observer faces north and you draw an imaginary line going through the northern celestial pole, this is the observer's meridian. Obviously, as the, the sky rotates, uh, the meridian stays in the same place, but all of the stars, the position of the stars relative to the meridian will be constantly changing. Your local sidereal time is how far round, how far west of your local meridian the first point of Aries is. This other line goes to the first point of Aries and on this particular picture here the local sidereal time is 0420. So this angle, you can measure it as an angle or you can measure it as hours and minutes which is actually more convenient and that is your local sidereal time. Now the hour angle of a star is how far past the observer's meridian the star is. Again, it's the, the angle west of your local meridian. It can be measured in degrees or it can be measured in hours and minutes and it will depend on the local sidereal time where the observer is. As time passes by, the hour angle will get bigger and it will depend on the observer's longitude as well. Okay, so from what I've just said, uh, your local sidereal time is equal to the hour angle of the first point of Aries. Looking at this picture here, we can see that the first point of Aries, this line that goes to the first point of Aries, uh, is at an angle of 4 hours and 20 minutes to your local meridian. So your local sidereal time is equal to the hour angle of the first point of Aries. Let's look at another star though. Let's look at this star in Cassiopeia, which is called CAF. I think that's how it's pronounced. And on this diagram, the hour angle of CAF is 4 hours and 11 minutes. Uh, I've made a note of the right ascension of CAF there as well, which may come in handy later on. Here's another example. This is looking at Deneb, which is in Cygnus. And on this diagram, Deneb has an hour angle of 7 hours and 39 minutes. That actually tells me that 7 hours and 39 minutes ago, Deb, Deneb culminated. So the, the hour angle is the time since the star culminated. Now, there's two ways of measuring our angle. Uh, I'm not sure which one they're going to use in the exam because this is new on the specification and there wasn't a question on it And uh, last year and I don't write the exam paper. Now, if I'm saying it's the angle um, west of the prime meridian, now, if this is less than 12 hours, then that's no problem. See on the top left diagram, 7 hours, 30 minutes. However, if it's more than that, now you can either say that the hour angle is 19 hours and 50 minutes, or you can say it's minus 4 hours and 10 minutes. So what I'm saying is that if it's west of your meridian, it's positive, if it's east of your meridian, it's negative. So there's there's two different ways. I did notice that the, the new version of Stellarium now gives the hour angle for, for stars, and they use this the system on the left. On, on Stellarium, they would give the hour angle of the star as being 19 hours, 50 minutes. Although I do think the system on the right, where it's positive and negative, is a more traditional way of doing it. 
Let's look at another example on this diagram. Let's look at Dubai. Uh, and you'll see I've said that Dubai has an hour angle of 17 hours and 17 minutes. Or we can say that it has an hour angle of minus 6 hours, 43 minutes. So this is the, the two different ways of measuring hour angle. Um, I think I'm possibly more comfortable with the first one, 17 hours and 17 minutes. I think it's simpler. Now, here's an equation which, touch wood, I don't believe you need to know. It's not on the specification. However, obviously there's a, a relationship between the hour angle of a star and your local sidereal time and the right ascension of the star. And I, I've read on several websites that the hour angle equals your local sidereal time minus the right ascension of the star. Um, a little bit of homework for you to do. If you look at the three examples in this video, and I'd like you to figure out, does this equation actually work? And if it does work, if it doesn't work, then let me know in the comments. Um, I'll stress again that I'm pretty sure you don't need to use this equation. You just need to know what the hour angle of a star means and that the hour angle depends on your local sidereal time and it depends on the right ascension of the star.